today we are going to be fucking doing a tier list and we today we're going to be rating all the fucking call of duties as an entirety right we're talking campaign we're talking multiplayer spec ops um which you know that those are fundamental the warfare and then we have um uh, uh zombies zombies can't fucking forget about zombies so we're gonna be basing every single call of duty based off of their overallness i guess let's start from the bottom right let's start from the bottom starting at number one our first fucking choice of the day is gonna be call of duty world at war Call of Duty World at War being the very first Call of Duty to introduce the, the, the zombies game mode, which revolutionized Call of Duty. There I say, right? There I say. Now, now this may be crazy, like a crazy fucking take, right? But for me, I think zombies saved the Call of Duty franchise. I, I know that sounds fucking crazy, right? And you guys think like I, I'm ba a mental patient, right? But for me, is okay. Guys, imagine a world where zombies was never a thing. Imagine how much, like, like content has been made over the years by zombies, how much, like, Call of Duties have been bought based solely on the fact that there's going to be zombies. Like, like, you can't, like, you just cannot tell me that this game would be at the level that it is today without the introduction of zombies. So, for me, I feel like Call of Duty World at War... I remember the multiplayer being really fun. The campaign is one of the best campaigns I've ever fucking played in my life, bro. Like, like I don't like just that ending. You're holding the the American. Is it the American flag? I I think it's the American flag. You're holding a flag and you're fucking dying, bro. And you need to just shove it in the hole before you die. I gotta go ass, dude. I gotta go ass. There's 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 no way. There's no way. Introduction of zombies. Fucking ten out of ten campaign. Multiplayer was fucking fun, bro. Running around with the Thompson and everything. And then plus, like, even years later when it got modded and everyone would give you modded um, mod menus or whatever, when you just accidentally, and you're running around just, like, shooting people with your finger. Like, come on, bro. No, no, no. That game is a 10 out of 10. Okay. Is this Black Ops 3? Okay, Black Ops 3. Black Ops 3. I'm not gonna lie. The campaign for Black Ops 3 was also really good. The multiplayer was kind of ass. I'm not going to lie. I don't know if, if it was just the fact that I was kind of like transitioning. For every single person here, right? You kind of know that transitioning moment, right? Because I played a lot of these when I was like under the age of like 14 or 15, right? And, and you kind of get to a certain point in your life as a man, right? Also a woman, also a woman. Or you kind of just notice yourself getting worse at video games. And I feel like around Black Ops 3 was the time where I got out of like my prime, I feel like. So like I, I just wasn't like destroying people as I used to. And and maybe that was the reason why. I just don't like the most player as much. But like the zombies was amazing. I'll say that. This has some of the best zombie maps that we have ever had. This was, um, okay, correct me if I'm wrong, but this was like, like, Gorod Crovey, right? W was that that, or, or, or was that Black Ops 2? No, Black Ops 2 had Transit, Die, Die Rise, right? The one where, like, you're up in the fucking, like, tower or whatever, um, um, Transit, Die Rise. Ah, oh, bro, I can't, I can't remember whatever, the, whatever fucking Black Ops Two had. Oh, it, it had buried, it had buried. I'm trying to think of like all the DLCs it had, just to like keep in the back of my mind. Buried, Transit, Die Rise, Dine. No, Diner was on fucking um, Transit. Um. Anyways, 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 bro. I'm pretty sure this had Go Ride Crovey. Um, uh, um. This this had um the Dorizen Drock, right? Oh my god, dude. This Black Ops, and also this is the home of modded Black Ops zombies, which I know a lot of people haven't had the chance to experience. But bro, like the amount of creativity that people put into like these modded zombie maps, like like you're playing on the Simpsons map, you're playing on like I don't know Chuck E. Cheese map, like bro, I'm pretty sure someone made a Diddy Party map. Like I don't know, like you're able to just like do whatever. Like it, the amount of maps that I've played. And have witnessed like just like the creativeness of 
is astonishing, bro. Like, it's literally just, like, amazing. They make better maps than Treyarch's made. Like, uh, it's, I don't know. As an entirety, I feel like I, I want to put it at S just because of, like, the sheer amount of great fucking, like, zombies. Like, like, if you think Black Ops 3, I'm immediately thinking zombies, right? Because this had probably some of the best zombies maps and just, like, gameplay of any of the Call of Duties. But I think I'm going to put it A primarily because the multiplayer is it's just, it was just kind of bad, man. I think this is where they put, like, the, the, um, like the specials into Call of Duty. You know what I mean? Like Havoc and stuff, like, like the, the, like Tempest, there was Havoc, or you're able to just, like, um, you know, ground and pound the, the, the fucking earth and destroy everything around you. Um, Tempest was able to, like, shock people and shit like that. Dude, anyways, anyways, it, it was, like, the introduction of, like, all this, like, new kind of, like, weird specialist classes, and I don't really, I, I just really, like, I wasn't feeling, I would really wasn't feeling it, I'm not gonna lie. So for me, Black Ops 3 has to be an A. Can't be an S, because this game is, like, literally fucking perfection. And this one, I can kind of remember the campaign. Campaign was good. Um, I had the guy from, like, Law & Order in it as, like, the main villain, right? I think. In this one, I could be wrong. But I'm pretty sure I'm right. And then the zombies was amazing. But just because it, the multiplayer was missing, it's an A. Ooh, Modern Warfare 2, bro. See, like, okay, if I don't put this at an S, like, everyone flames me, right? If, if, if I don't put Mono Warfare 2 as an S, as, like, one of the greatest Call of Duty, okay, don't get me wrong, it is one of the greatest fucking Call of Duties. I can't even tell you how many matches of, like, Michael Myers, Quickscopes, Rust 1v1s I've had. Like, like even just, like, the fun of going into, like, Spec Ops, or, or was MW2 Spec Ops, or was it Survival? MW3 was Survival, right? And Spec Ops? Damn, did you two have spec up? Fuck, I can't remember, bro. But the campaign was so good, too. My boy Ghost then got got. Like, oh my god. Fine, 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 right? Because, like, if I don't put it, everyone is literally gonna come from my fucking head. And, and look, like, that's not even influence, right? That's not influence. This game. Is is just like so iconic to everyone's childhood, man. Like like beautiful fucking like ACR M4 FAMAS, right? Like we're talking like beauty, just like mul this multiplayer kind of carried this fucking game to like superstardom, right? Like like astronomical heights this game fucking went because of the multiplayer alone. And 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 the campaign was beautiful as well. Like like one of the best campaigns also. But I can't, I literally can't remember if MW2 had Spec Ops or not. I'm so sure it did. If it did, I kind of don't remember it at all, if I'm being honest. But I remember MW3 having, like, a lot of that as well. But just off, like, ah, uh, like, even if it only had those two, it's an ass. It's, it's literally a fucking ass. Like, like, it's in superstardom. Infinite Warfare, man. Fuck! 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 Okay, 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 okay. Um, this is where things may get a little rocky, right? This is where, <laughs> this is where things may get a little rocky, bro. Everyone absolutely hated Infinite Warfare. Even fucking the COD developers themselves hated Infinite Warfare, right? Like Activision themselves or Sledgehammer, whoever. I think it was Sledgehammer who made Infinite Warfare. Fucking hated Infinite Warfare. So they hated Infinite Warfare so much, the only way they could even market this fucking game was to pair it with a remastered Modern Warfare 4, which is just fucking crazy to me, bro. It's the first time in Call of Duty history where they had zero confidence releasing a game, and they just thought they had to bundle it to sell it at all. This game was, like, so weird, bro. Like, I don't, I don't know, like, how this game came about because... What what was the Call of Duty previous to this? Was it Black Ops 3? Or Black Ops 4? I, I think it might have been... No, 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 no. Black Ops 4 came out after. I think it might have been Black Ops 3. 
I'm almost certain it was Black Ops 3. So we had Black Ops 3, right? And then we go to like this, and it's like, what the fuck is going on? We're like a, like a million years in the fucking future, right? Like Elon's done taking over the world already, and everyone is just like robots. All the weapons sound like fucking Teslas. Like, dude, like I don't understand where we went with this. It was so far into the fucking future. All the guns were just like, pachoo, 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 pachoo. Like, they sound like you were shooting fucking ray guns, every gun. The, the movement wasn't, like, terrible, but you were able to, like, wall run in this one, too, I believe. Or, or I think so. No. I don't, I don't know. I'm not going to lie. I didn't play that much of this multiplayer. I, I'm, I'm not going to hold you. It was just, like, bad, bro. It was bad. But, but, but. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hey, hey, hear me out. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. But before you motherfuckers like flame me, right? And say there's no way this Call of Duty was a B, this motherfucker is D all day, right? Before you flame me, the campaign was pretty good. Like, and that's not just because, you know, the boy Conor McGregor was in that one. Kit Harrington, fucking um, Game of Thrones. What, what, is, that, is that his name, Kit Harrington? I don't know. Game of Thrones, motherfucker. Jon Snow was in there. Um, the campaign actually wasn't bad. Was it as good as these campaigns? Nowhere near, right? Like, we're not even in the same fucking universe, right? Alternate reality, basically. I mean, that's where this fucking game has to take place, realistically. But it was good. It wasn't bad. A lot of these, there are some of these that have really bad campaigns. And the zombies. Everyone hate the zombies? I don't know why. I don't know if there's like some weird fucking like, like switch in my brain that thinks Infinite Warfare zombies wasn't total shit. It was kind of weird, right? Like the perks were literally cards, right? Like you're fucking Joker, right? You're just flipping cards. Um, pack a punch, you gotta go into a VCR or some shit, and there's all these, like, weird challenges and stuff, but honestly, I thought it was, a like, a wildly different take on, on, like, zombies, and I kind of didn't mind it, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna say it's as good as, like, all these other ones, but, like, it wasn't terrible, like, I wouldn't say I had a bad time playing that zombies. It was... It was kind of, like, a little difficult, I wanna say, if I remember... And I didn't get to play all of the DLC maps. All right. I only remember the, the main map. And then like, there's one where like in the Easter egg, you kill um, the monster on the beach or some shit like that. That map. Um, other than that, I don't know if they made anything after that. I never played all the ah, dude, Is B too generous? Is, is B literally too generous? The multiplayer is unplayable. Campaign, good. Not great. Zombies, good. Okay, let's not say good. Let's say decent. Not great. I don't know. Fuck, dude. Beast too much. Let's let's give it a C. Let's give it a C. Because, because like, campaign, although it's good, probably, like, zero replayability, right? I mean, unless you're, like, achievement hunting and going back for, you know, collectibles and that. Um, multiplayer, unplayable. Like, it's just super bad. And, and zombies, good, but, like, nothing to, like, you know, write home to your mama about. <clears throat> so for that, we're going to go see. Call of Duty original. Ooh, I'm not going to lie. I haven't played the original Call of Duty. By the way, why isn't this motherfucker remastered yet? Or did it get a remaster? I, I, don't, I don't know. I haven't played the original Call of Duty since I was like seven years old. I'm not going to lie. Um, I only remember like certain like snowy parts of the map. Unless that was part two. I don't know. I just, I just remember like running around with a fucking Mazin. You know what I mean? Like, and just trying to hit trick shots on people. Since it's so old and I really can't like, like give it a fair rating. It's tough, right? Because these old Call of Duties, when did mul multiplayer didn't get put into Call of Duty? I think until Call of Duty 3. If I'm if if memory serves right, we didn't have a multiplayer in Call of Duty till the third installment, and that one was actually not bad. For okay, for the time, it was actually really good. 
So for Call of Duty and like me not technically remembering the campaign. I'm just, I, do, I, I, I gotta put it at D because I, I, I literally just can't remember. Also, it doesn't have multiplayer. It doesn't have zombies. It, it's literally just like what it is. Same thing with Call of Duty 2. Like, we, we kind of have to go for a twofer. I'm not gonna lie. They may be great. They may actually be great. And I may go back and play it one day. I don't know. On my fucking Game Boy with, with probably what the graphics are. Um, for, for today, we, we, we gotta put them D. We gotta put them D. And, and that's crazy, right? To put Infinite Warfare above, like, you know, OG, Triple OG. But, like, it just is what it is, guys. I'm literally sorry. I, I just, I, I can't remember it, bro. Like, I was literally, like, seven, six, maybe. I don't know. Shit was so long ago. Anyways, moving on, right? Let's move on with today's program. Black Ops Cold War. This is another controversial Call of Duty where everyone fucking hated this thing. I'm not going to lie to you, right? Was I a fan of this game at first? No. Did I pre-order this game? No. I bought it, I think, like, three to six months after it originally came out. I just, like, I wasn't really, I wasn't really down for it, if I'm being honest. Um, but I'm not going to lie, it kind of grew on me. Also, I never played the campaign. A lot of people said the campaign was kind of, like, just, like, okay at best. Um, and okay at best. Just, it's not good enough for me. Like, like, uh, I know you're not supposed to just listen to everyone's reviews in life, right? Because if you listen to everyone's reviews for everything, you'll never go and experience something for yourself. That is just like a, a life fucking lesson that you should just learn. Because there's so much like movie reviews, game reviews, show reviews, product reviews all over TikTok and the internet. And a lot of them can be bad. And a lot of them may be right, right? They actually may be right in their, um, you know, reviews assumptions whatever it takes but a lot of times they're wrong like like everything is just up to personal preference right like some people may think this game was ultra hot other people may think this may go down as like top five in the call of duty franchise and and that's just what it is right that's just what it is <clears throat> so i should have gone back and played the campaign but i just never did i just never did um, um i was influenced i just ended up ne because like these campaigns take hours to beat a lot of times i just didn't have that time so i was like fuck like like why am i gonna go dedicate this time to doing that when i could dedicate that same time to like i don't know editing coming up with ideas or or recording um the multiplayer wasn't bad it was better than infinite warfare but not by a lot i don't know if i had to put cold war i think i would put it at a b primarily because the zombies wasn't really bad. I only remember one map, I think. Did they only ever come out with one map? I know they, okay, I know Cold War came out with, like, some weird shit also. It was, like, what, the the zombies that was kind of open world? Yeah, that was pretty bad. I don't know, I don't know, like, who came up with that idea. I'm not gonna, like, hold you on that one. I never got the experience campaign. Multiplayer was okay, not terrible. The zombies, I thought, was good. At least the one map. I played it, like, I don't even know how many times over and over again. Even though, like, I, I think a zombies has to be really good if you're willing to just, like, round grind. You know what I mean? Like, literally get in a game and just see how far you can go. Some zombie, a lot of zombie maps just aren't like that, right? Like, like you're not doing that on Infinite Warfare. Because, like, you, you really have to enjoy the map and the game. Or like the, the zombies gameplay to try and just round grind. And I remember round grinding on that one. So I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. And like you were able to just level up. So easy in there. Cold War overall. Good. Not great. Not bad. It, it's definitely above infinite warfare for me. It, it, it's, 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 it's average, right? Cold War is average. A lot of people were saying like it's terrible. It's just not, bro. It, it's it's not that that bad. Um, if I played the you know the campaign, and if I had liked the campaign, it would have been an A. But since I haven't, I gotta give it a B. I gotta give it a B. Okay, Call of Duty Three. Um, I remember parts of this campaign because I, in in actuality, I didn't play this game until maybe like. 10 years ago, bro. I, I remember I was in high school. I think when I like, I just went back and I was like, you know, I've never played Call of Duty three. Let me go back. And then I played a little bit of the multiplayer. It was, it was pretty clunky. I'm not going to lie for what I remember. I think I was like in my like freshman year, um, sophomore year or something like that. 
Um, and it was pretty clunky, but it, I kind of didn't have a bad time playing it. You know what I mean? Like, like some games are kind of like really old and you think it's going to be terrible, like to play, but it actually played kind of nice. Um, and I went back and played the campaign. The campaign was kind of meh. I'm not going to lie. And the multiplayer was also like, okay, first of all, it didn't have that many people, obviously, right? The game had been out by like, for like, I don't know, a hundred years by then. But it also wasn't bad. Like, I was still able to kind of clue scope on there. I'm not going to lie. I got, I think I got to give it a, a C. Just for, like, the historical effect of it as well. Like, this is the very first Call of Duty that, you know, introduced multiplayer. Like, th like this is, without this, you know, we wouldn't be here today. We really wouldn't. So, for historical, right? historical you know attrition and campaign i i literally i have memory fragments in my mind but like it, it's not enough to be so memorable that like i thought it was like ultra good so for that it's got to be c it's got to be c um it's on par with infinite warfare fuck it no <laughs> no dude Okay, back to our fucking program, right? Before fucking everything just went to shit. I, remind me not to touch my mouse buttons. Okay, I'm, I fucking accidentally backed down and deleted everything. Okay, back to what we were talking about. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. This is the recent release. Um, okay, not as recent as Black Ops 6, but this, this is before Black Ops 6 that just got fucking released this week. I'm not going to lie. I didn't even bother to buy this one, bro. I, okay, I'm capping. Nope, I'm capping. I'm sorry, I'm capping. I did end up buying it, but I didn't buy it until I think Black Ops 6 was announced or something like that. Like, like, it really wasn't that long ago. I honestly maybe bought it like four months ago, five months, nah, probably like six months ago. I probably bought it like six months ago, primarily just because friends wanted to go and, and, and quick scope and do things like that. And I, I honestly, I got peer pressured. Fuck it. I got peer pressured, spent like, no, I th actually, I think it was on sale for like $30. And that was like the only reason I bought it because there was no way in hell I was paying 70 bucks for this shit. I never played the campaign. Played a little bit of the multiplayer and it was kind of brain rot. I'm not going to lie to you. It was, I mean, <sighs> was it complete ass? No, but like, was it good? No. And it didn't have a zombies, right? This was the introduction of the war, right? The, 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 the HUD, right? The Call of Duty HUD or something like that. Like, like what they're trying to do every, or no, not the HUD, the hub. My bad. They're trying to like make all the Call of Duties go into one thing. There's Warzone. Um, oh yeah, this was Warzone 2, right? The introduction of Warzone 2. Yeah, this fucking killed Warzone. Like this made Warzone unplayable. Modern for 3, bro. I honestly like, I think I got to put it at C. I'm not going to lie because I, I don't think it had zombies. Multi I mean, the campaign, I never played it. I don't even know if it came out with a campaign, bro. Like, I, I never heard a single person say anything about the Modern for 3 campaign. Oh, my God, wait, it did. And I saw, like, a couple of clips of it. And, like, honestly, uh, it didn't look that bad. But, like, it, it, no one talks about it. So, it probably wasn't, like, you know, crazy. Um, I never played it. When it comes to camping, dude, honestly, uh, I want to play the Black Ops 6 campaign. When it comes to Call of Duty campaigns, I haven't played one. I think, like, the last one I played was the World at War 2 campaign, and, and that shit was... We'll talk about that in a second, bro. Like, I don't know. Anyways. Modern for 3, overall, a C. I haven't played the campaign. Maybe if I play the campaign, it'll go up to a B. Multiplayer wasn't that great. It was, it was kind of, like, just bland and, 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 like, riddled with, like, sweats, bro. Like, I, I don't know. Kind of weird. But they did introduce, you know... I think ranked into like casual um, play um, kind of like BRs in a sense, you know, like apex you're able to grind and get, you know, your, your rank up, right? Fucking play rank mode. They introduced ranked mode in call of duty, which honestly for a lot of players is kind of like, con like not again. Okay, I'm not going to say controversial. It's, it's kind of like, what's the word? Fuck it. We'll just say it, 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 it it's like amazing, right? It, it makes the game so much more playable. And, like, Competitive. There you go. Fuck, I couldn't think of the word. It's an extra layer of competitiveness that so many players love. 
people love to reach these high ranks. That way they can brag to their teammates, brag to their friends, brag to their, I don't know, fucking mother, their dog, their, their pet chihuahua, right? It's all for bragging rights. This makes a lot of people want to play solely just because they want to see where they stack up in the world. For me, I never really care when it comes to Call of Duty because Call of Duty is kind of brain rot. It takes like zero skill. Um, so I, I didn't play that either. I didn't play that either. Does, does this have spec ops? I don't know. I, I actually don't know. Like I said, I bought it, only ever got on to play, um, um, you know, like quick scope battles and things like that, 1v1s. Um, with friends, with friends. That's literally all I bought it for, and I was peer pressured into it. I was literally going to skip this COD as an entirety. <clears throat> Anyways, it's a C. wasn't wasn't that good for me. And then at the end of the day, my opinion, my opinion alone, you guys could have thought this shit was like one of the best. Same time, I don't care. This isn't your opinion, bro. This this is my opinion. Don't influence me, bro. Just just like you know. Call me like invalid trash when this all comes out in, in like a fucking video or a TikTok or some shit. Then just like trash on me then. Right. But like at this point, like we're not going to be influenced. Call of Duty 4, bro. Ooh. Call of Duty Modern Warfare introduction of Captain Price himself. Right. Oh, man. This campaign was honestly a banger. Right. Is it as good as Modern Warfare 2 campaign and World at War? I don't think so. I'm going to be honest. I don't think this was as good as a campaign. But like all gillied up though. All gillied up. Come on, man. Campaign was amazing. I'm not going to lie. Campaign was amazing. It, it, it wasn't as amazing. Like this, like this is just like in, in like the stratosphere, bro. Like this is looking down on these motherfuckers at this point, right? But the multiplayer was also iconic as well. Like, this was, like, this, Call of Duty 3 walked so this motherfucker could run. And this was the introduction of what I believe. It, it, this, this was where Call of Duty was really born. Multiplayer took over the fucking world with this right here. So I think just for that, I gotta put it in S. Like, 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 dude, it just had... Even if you think like it's not an S, right? What this game did for the literally the entire fucking world, it was just worth. And just dude, oh man, like the the deeg felt so good in that game, bro. I don't know, just I think just deeg alone might carry it. Like one of like the best like deeg like gunplay, I think out of like any COD. It's got to be S tier. It's got to be S tier. It for me, it's in between S and A. It was the same time. Black Ops 3 is only an A because of just how much, like, good and, like, historical, like, 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 factor this game had on the zombie community. Not so much the multiplayer, you know, not so much the campaign, but the zombie community as a whole. And for me, that's the only thing that keeps me engaged with Call of Duty nowadays is zombies. So I may be biased in, like, putting this at A. If it wasn't for the zombies, this thing would go straight to a fucking, like, C. Um, but for me, it... This is just like two perfects, right? It only had campaign multiplayer, but two basically perfect, right? Like, like we're talking nines. These are tens, but like this historical factor, gotta put it in S. I just have to. This shit, let's be honest, Call of Duty Vanguard, aka, wait, 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 wait. What the fuck is Call of Duty Vanguard? <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Dude, I thought Call of Duty Vanguard was War at War 2. I'm not going to hold you. Um, mm, um, what the fuck is Call of Duty? Wait, when the fuck did this shit come out? Um, um, mm. All right, boys. Hold on. I I I I got to I got to Call of Duty Vanguard. What the fuck is Call of Duty Vanguard, bro? Call of Duty Vanguard is the most forgettable COD. <laughs> Ain't no way that's the first fucking thing that pops up there, dude. Um, I don't remember this at all, bro. Wait, when did this... Is this even, like, a, a main game? November 5th, 2021. Huh? Good reason to play. <laughs> uh, another strong injury. 
It offers a lackluster campaign, but makes up for it with a frantic and fun multiplayer experience. Sledgehammer made this? Bro, I don't remember this cut at all. When the fuck did this, like, uh, this didn't even come out in the world, basically. Like, this might as well have gotten, um, what's the word? Like, like it, might, it might as well have gotten shelved, bro, because it got zero word of mouth. I, I don't remember this at, like, I don't remember this coming out at all. I'm not going to lie. It's, it's got to be a D, because if I didn't, if, if it's a Call of Duty and I didn't even fucking hear about it or have any recollection of this game coming out, like, like being the person I am, like, it's got to be, like, superior, like, 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 A-grade ass, bro. It's so forgetful, like, we're not even going to say any more about it. We're just going to move on. That's right along with it, bro. No, no, no. Okay, World of War II, while the R&R part of the game, you know, like, like this, they did something different with this one that I kind of thought was really cool. At the same time, like, you know, it's not good enough. Dude, and, oh, man, is D2 crazy? Because... Oh, fuck. is a little hard, bro. Don't anyone tell you, don't don't let anyone tell you it's fucking easy, man. Don't let anyone tell you. because like you make these decisions, right? And you make these decisions, you tier list things, and then people just fucking rip your entire asshole, bro. Like no lube. Just just go straight in for your opinion. Call of Duty World of War II. One of the worst Call of Duty campaigns I think I have ever played personally. Um, it was unplayable to the fact where like I I I stopped after I think like the first two missions, three missions. I was like, dude, this shit is mad boring. Um, it didn't make it had zero heart. It didn't make you feel anything. I thought I was playing Battlefield. Um, multiplayer, like I think I played it maybe a week, if that. It was so like forgetful and like boring and like just dull overall. And the zombies, I think I did like one of the zombie Easter eggs. I'm pretty sure on, on like the very first map it, that it came out on. And I don't even know if they had any DLCs for this map or for, for this map, for this game. Did they? I don't know. I literally only did the Easter egg for the first zombies map. And then I don't think I, I think I stopped playing by the time they released anything more. If they released anything more. Although the zombies, it, it, dude, it's so hard to say, right? This is what I'm struggling with. I love zombies so fucking much like like it has a special play in like my like childhood just like just like my life in general right like so many nights and days have been spent with just friends enjoying life all stresses of the world go out of the brain out of the fucking window and you're able to just kill zombies seamlessly mindlessly and 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 it's just like pure just like bliss serotonin right nothing to worry about Unless, like, you're bad at zombies, then, like, you kind of stress while playing zombies. I've, I've also met some people like that. Um, but for, like, the majority of people that, like, aren't bad, like, you can kind of just, like, go in with, like, literally no headphones, no audio, no nothing. And, like, you'll probably do fine. And, and like, you're just not scared at all. So, for me, just being able to do that makes me, like, love a game, right? Or, or, or like, make me, like, not think bad of a game. This game had zombies, so I feel like just like automatically, like it, it kind of just can't be a D because I don't think these had zombies. This one had zombies. This one had zombies. This one, multiplayer culture. Um, this one, it was okay. Um, honestly, bro, like I think I gotta put this a D, bro. I don't know because because I didn't play the campaign. Um, cool, right? I, I don't know. I, I, I can't give it, like, an accurate fucking thing. But at the same time, like, the multiplayer, I played the multiplayer, and it just really wasn't fun. Like, I mean, I, it was cool to play, like, Shipment, I guess, for a minute, but, like, it, oh, overall, like, it was just kind of bland. And then, and then like, with, I think this is where they started just, like, shitting on the, the, the UI of COD. Like, now we have, like, 70 fucking options to choose from instead of just making it simple. Like, social, barracks, customize here, um, like, 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 they have like 17 like sections on the side of your screen. Like, what the fuck is this, bro? Like, I'm cataloging at this point. I don't like it. Um, we're gonna switch it up. We're gonna switch it up. Call of Duty World of War II is a C for me. 
Oh man, I'm so biased, like I said, because there's zombies in it. Just because it has zombies in it, and I did enjoy it for like a, I actually enjoyed a split moment of it. Um, I'll give it a C. Uh, Modern for three, ultra bad. I don't care what anyone says. That's going back to D. We'll, we'll we'll switch up like that. We'll switch up like that. Warzone. I, this is 2019 Warzone. I, I, I'm, I'm assuming it's 2019 Warzone. If it's 2019 Warzone, holy shit. Like, like, like I may have been one of the greatest Warzone players like ever to exist. And dude, like I, everyone would say like that, that's narcissism. That's like self glaze, right? Dude, I don't care. I was like, this may have been my prime when it comes to like bat. Mm. Maybe not. Uh, I think my prime was in PUBG, but like, like Call of Duty wise, I do. I there was in this Call of Duty, there was like honestly nothing that could fucking stop me, bro. I was, I don't know what I was on. I was just so fucking locked in. I was so locked in. I don't know if this is considered like um, Warzone or this is considered 2019 COD. I don't know. I, I had my editor do this for me, but like, I, I, if if this is 2019 COD as it is, as a, as an entirety. It's got to be Ness. 2019 COD. Great campaign. Notable. You see it a lot on TikToks and like fucking like people reacting to it. It's, it's actually a banger. Um, is it as like, notice, like notable as these? No. But it's still good. Not great, but good. Warzone 2019 was a great fucking BR, bro. Like, like so great. And now it was just like another fucking like demon being like, like I, I was something else. Multiplayer as well. I was just something else. It was, and like the gun, the movement was just so like fluid, bro. Oh my god, 2019 COD was it, it, it's up there, right? Like it, if it's not in like everyone's top five, they're fuck, like their their shit's like not valid. Let's be honest, like like their ranking of COD shouldn't exist at that point. If 2019 war like COD is not in your fucking um um list, that's that's an easy yes. If we're talking about that, if we're talking only Warzone, then it's an A, but I'm pretty sure this is 2019 COD as an entirety. Call of Duty Ghost. Man, dude, this is another one where, like, everyone was just like, why is this game fucking made? And, like, everyone hates on this game, bro. Okay. Call of Duty Ghost. I don't remember when, when this came, what, it was, like, 2014? I think this game came out, 2013, something like that, 2015? Around there. Um, Might have been 2012, actually. Uh. Anyways, anyways, everyone hated this fucking um, game because it did, at the time, take a drastic change. I think before this was Black Ops 2, right? Or the Mono for 3. By the way, there's no Mono for 3 on here. Wait, what? Oh, I don't know. Bro's canceled. How did bro forget Modern Warfare 3? That shit's iconic. Whatever. Anyways, I digress. Um, Call of Duty goes, I actually really love this. If we're talking campaigns, this fucking campaign is an immediate fucking, like, S or an A. I know everyone's just like, bro, like, what the fuck are you talking about? A campaign has to be so good that you actually feel feel something right the ending of this shit actually made you feel something you were just like in awe like what the fuck like that's so crazy and like i can't explain it but the campaign was fun even fighting in space i thought would be so clunky and lame but it actually wasn't bad it was actually kind of fun um <clears throat> multiplayer wasn't the greatest right it wasn't the greatest but i don't think it it was on it was boots on the ground which I kind of loved. I'm not going to lie. So, like, I, I can't be mad. I actually can't be mad. And the gunplay wasn't even terrible. Everyone says, like, the, the gunplay was fucking ass. And honestly, for me, the gunplay, like, wasn't even that bad. I actually thought it was good. The sniping felt good. You were still able to quickscope. The maps. Okay, let's be honest. The maps needed a little bit of work. But at the same time, the maps weren't, like, god-awful and unplayable. And then this was the introduction of Extinction. They tried something different. They wanted to try and move away from zombies since all they were known for was fucking basically zombies up to this point. I mean, multiplayer 2 a little bit, right? Because Black Ops 2 
that came up before it. But zombies, like, because Black Ops 2 had the best fucking zombies run of any Call of Duty. And Extinction was kind of a flop. I'm not going to lie. It, it was, they just made it too fucking difficult. At the same time, it wasn't like a bad, bad time if you were playing with friends. It was terrible if you were playing by yourself, but it wasn't a bad time overall. I think I, think I would give Call of Duty Ghost. It's between A and B. Dude, but it's, it's nowhere like near as bad as fucking Cold War. Then again, like I said, I haven't played the campaign, so like, fuck, man. Do I put it A? Am I glazing? Wait. Call of Duty Ghost, great campaign. Great multiplayer. Good, good, good campaign. Good multiplayer. Bad extinction. Fuck, dude, I'll give it a B. I'll give, okay, yeah. I'll, I'll give Call of Duty Ghost a B. Fuck it. Ah, uh, man. The, the only reason why Cold War is on B as well is because it had fucking zombies. And, and the fucking, the multiplayer was decent. It wasn't great. It wasn't good. It wasn't bad. It's just decent, right? It's like the definition of fucking mid. And the campaign I never played, but like if the campaign was even like halfway decent, like I think people said it was, if I if I remember maybe, then it deserves a B. Call of Duty Ghost B, Cold War B. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. Wait. Bro put Black Ops 2 twice. Or is this three? No, this is two. No, this is three. Wait, what? Did you give me two different pictures of Black Ops 3? <laughs> Wait, or is this four? Wait, was this Black Ops 4 the entire time? Oh, uh, we're cooked. Oh, we're cooked. Black Ops 4? Okay, okay, okay. No, this is Black Ops 2. Oh, my God. Wait, I need to figure this out. Nah, I need to figure this out. Um, um, okay, what, what, easy, right? Call of Duty, um... Black Ops 3, right? Um, images, images, images. Okay, so Black Ops 3 is the one with this guy. Okay. okay. Oh, wait. Up. Uh, okay, so this is Black Ops 3. This was Black Ops 4. Black Ops 3 still deserves an A. Okay, so everything I said about this one, um, um, just, just you know, push it to the side on this one. I'm not going to lie. I thought this was 3 the entire time. Bro, I saw, like, look, there's only 3 of these fucking things here. And then there's, I can't, I can't count that. That might actually be four in the background. I just, I, I, I just didn't notice. Dude, whatever, whatever. It's, for me, dude, Black Ops 4 introduced the ability of being able to play in co-op campaign. I believe for like one of the first times ever in Call of Duty history, you're able to play co-op campaign with your friends, which was honestly kind of cool. They had like one zombie level, I believe. Um, if I'm thinking about the right Call of Duty, I'm thinking about. This one was like real technological as well. Wall running, things like that. Zombie, dude, I don't even remember the zombie. It's a Black Ops, so I know that there was zombies, but like. I literally don't remember. I li no, I, li I literally can't remember. Hold on, I, I have to look at them. I literally have to look at them. Nope, okay, yeah, it was Black Ops. Okay. I think I'm going to put Black Ops. Oh, man. Okay. Black Ops 4. Okay. Here's the reason why I, I really can't. It's Black Ops 3 and Black Ops 4 are so similar. They're so similar. They just have one crazy different factor, right? Honestly, like campaign, you're able to play one in co-op, one in not. But Black Ops 4, if I remember correctly, was the introduction of Blackout. Blackout, if we're just talking about Blackout, Blackout might have been one of the best additions to Call of Duty ever created. That shit was so fun. I was also so different on that as well. Like, like that shit brought together so many people. No one even cared about the multiplayer in this game. It was so forgettable because you had a blackout. No one cared about the campaign because you had blackout. I don't know if this thing had zombies because it had blackout. You know what I mean? Like, I got, I'm going to give it a B. Only because I can't remember the campaign, really. Don't know if it had zombies, because it had a blackout. I don't know if it had multiplayer, because it had blackout. You know what I mean? So, like, blackout alone carries it to a B. Blackout alone carries it to a B. 
I can't put it at A. It's not, it's not, it's not as great as this. Oh, fuck, man. Does Blackout carry it to an A? Fuck, dude. I really love Blackout. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Okay, fuck it. Fuck it, fuck it. We'll, we'll keep it at B. We'll keep it at B. We'll keep it at B. Blackout alone carries it to B. Black Ops 6. This is the new boy on the street, right? This, this, this is literally the new, new. Uh, I've been playing this game a lot recently. I'm not going to lie. This is the first Call of Duty where I've actually put in like some hours since 2019, which is kind of crazy to say. I don't know if it's like the fact that everyone's playing it right now um, or that it's a Black Ops and they're known for like their great fucking zombies. And I'm, I'm just a zombies player, like just zombies lover, like through and through. I don't know if that's what's like driving me to it. Okay. Okay, let me say this. Let me say this. I haven't played the campaign. I really want to play the campaign, which is weird. I've been hearing some crazy great reviews about it. Maybe that's why. It's it's really influential. Um, If I was to rate this game off of what I've actually played, right? I've played a lot of the multiplayer. Um, Gunfight. I've played um, all the maps already. Um, I've played the zombies done the Liberty Falls Easter egg. I've done the Terminus Easter egg, um, which I, I, I failed, but I've done it. I've, I've attempted it and, and I've basically done the majority of it. I think I'm gonna give Black Ops 6, I think I'm gonna give it a B as well. The maps on this game are terrible. The guns in this game are terrible. The TTK, is one of the worst fucking TTKs I've seen in a Call of Duty. But even with all of that terribleness, the Omni movement is kind of fun. I'm not going to lie. Being able to like dive and slide and like do it in any direction is kind of cool. Um, the TTK is bad, but like the boots on the ground, I love. I just love boots on the ground. It's like nothing crazy, you know, just like easy like slide canceling movement, uh, fucking diving and shit like that. Um, the only thing is, it's okay. This this may be weird, right? And and I don't know if I'm like the only one that thinks this, but the maps. Okay, I know I'm not the only one that thinks this. Um, first of all, but like the maps are so bad, and and they're like weirdly constructed in a way that it almost feels like the Omni movement wasn't made for the map because a lot of times you dive and like you're diving and like you. With how far the dive throws you, or the omnidirectional dive, or whatever the fuck throws you, like you're hitting a wall, and each wall has like a like a little bit of wall sticking out from it. So majority of the time, if you try and dive into a room, your fucking reticle is gonna be in a wall, right? Like like the way they every map is just so fucking like cluttered in rooms and shit like that that like it makes the omni movement kind of dumb you, you know what i mean like it, it just makes it like irrelevant i don't know if like that was like some choice they made or if like the maps really just weren't really made with the omni movement in mind like like, like maybe the maps were made and then like they added in the omni movement afterwards you know what i mean like i, I don't know I, I may be crazy in saying that um but that's just kind of how it feels playing the maps like like they're just you just bump into so much shit like you can't even really like use it that that well but it is cool to use and it is like feel cool to just you know fucking just dive you know what i mean like like i don't know it's like max pain or some shit um so it feels cool to do that and the zombies liberty falls is great um okay diablo 4 has started an update um all right the zombies it, it, it's not as good as these other ones let's be honest it's it's really different like it's weird liberty falls is good don't get me wrong it, it, it's as close as you can get um and terminus is just like not really like a fun map to play it's kind of like a map that you just like do the easter egg on and then like never get back on you know what i mean um it's a b overall it's not as bad as fucking the previous call of duty it's not as bad as infinite warfare it's definitely not as bad as world of war 2 um so it, it's a b it's a b but like fuck dude to put it on par with ghosts is crazy because like this shit like clears Fuck it. We're putting Ghost at A, bro. I don't care, bro. I don't care. I, do, I, I actually enjoyed Ghost so much. I don't care what anyone says, bro. Black Ops 6 is a B. Like, there's no way Ghost and, like, fucking Black Ops 6 could, like, even live in the same hemisphere. I don't care what anyone says. 
Advanced Warfare. Ooh. Advanced fucking warfare, man. Advanced fucking warfare. A lot of people didn't like the fact in this game. They didn't. Okay. A lot of people didn't like the introduction of exosuits. For me, it was kind of like lame, but also like kind of really fucking fun a lot. Like being able to just like, like boost dash and jump and shit like that. It was kind of cool. Like it made the game a lot harder. It made the game. I think a lot of people didn't like it because for casual players, this game was really difficult because if you had a skilled player that knew how to utilize their movement to like literally the maximum, you were not hitting that fucker. Like if a guy is jumping up, dashing right, dashing left, like slamming down for a casual player, they're not going to have that sensitivity, like that controllers, like just control, right? To flick up, flick down, flick left, like, like, they play on like such a low sense majority, right? Like they're trying to like casually game. They're not trying to sweat. Majority of people in this game were fucking sweating. So I think that's why like a lot of people just didn't really like it. But for above average players, um, it was amazing the multiplayer. I really enjoyed the multiplayer. I'm not gonna lie. The amount of like skins and everything they had was like fucking insane. Um the customization was amazing, campaign was amazing. Um, and zombies, I'm not gonna lie, Exo Zombies was kind of weird. Um, did I hate it? Not really. Um, it was different. It was really different. I think I gotta give it a B. Wait, is that weird? Fuck, no, I gotta give it an A, bro. Wait, fuck. But it's it's way better than Black Ops 6. Fuck, dude. Am I just going to give everything an A because it's better than Black Ops 6? Should I put back, fucking Black Ops 6? I'm putting Black Ops 6 at C. I'm putting Black Ops 6 at C. That way, um, um, there's fucking order in this courtroom, right? Because if I keep getting stuff, I'm not going to be able to... I, I'm literally just going to keep throwing shit above it because Black Ops 6 is just like... It, it, it's not bad, but it's not good. You know, it's like kind of like mid-ish. Right? But, like, even if... Until I play the campaign, this shit is a C. If I play the campaign and it's insane, it's, like, a B. Maybe, maybe if the campaign is really, really that good, it's an A. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. Off of zombies and multiplayer alone, um, all the bad maps and everything, like, even zombie maps are kind of, like, bad. It, it, it's a C. Fuck it. Fuck it. I, I said what I said, bro. Black Ops 6 is a fucking C. <clears throat> Advanced Warfare. Good campaign. Good multiplayer. Decent zombies. So it's an A. All right? It's a fucking A. I don't care. I, I don't care, bro. Let me go full screen again. Okay. Black Ops 2. Now, a lot of people, right? A lot of the, 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 the Gen Zers, right? Or, or like the, the, the kids who were just introduced to the classroom, if you will. Right? New kids on the block. A lot of them say like these older Call of Duties are so ass. I see so many TikToks of people saying these old colleges are so ass. They're saying they're clunky. They look bad. Graphics aren't that good. They don't hold up. I don't know, like, what kind of meth they're smoking, right? This shit, called Black Ops 2 in general, if there was an S fucking plus, I think Black Ops 2 alone might be up there. One of the best campaigns I've ever played in my life. I've replayed that motherfucker so many times. Like, I will kill Menendez a million times. I, I don't, I don't it, it just is what it is. Um, or, like, even being able to play uh, Menendez was, like, fucking crazy as fuck. Like, that was just insane. Everything about this game was just insane. Like, 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 I don't care. It was just insane. Zombies. I think the best zombies we've ever gotten in our life was in this game the zombie packs pack a punch weapons stories in the easter eggs were just like like you could like you can't even fucking fathom it bro like it, it was so good this had like what shinonuma um go ride or shinonuma and black Ops. i don't know i don't know bro i don't know all i know is it, it, it was so good it was so good and the multiplayer, if we're talking multiplayer alone, this shit might be an S. 
Black Ops 2 is is an S plus, bro. Like literally, like if if I had an S plus tier, it would literally be an S plus. I don't care. There's literally nothing you can say about this game, or that anyone can say about this game that's bad. That's literally bad. Like I I, I just don't know. Like if anyone if if anyone says this game is below like an S plus or S, like just stop listening to them and walk away. Honestly. For our final fucking item, our final game, our final franchise pick, right? We have Call of Duty Black Ops, the very first Black Ops that was introduced into the Call of Duty franchise. This game is also an immediate fucking S. Like, so many people, right, see Black Ops 3, and it's just like, oh my god, like an overwhelming feeling of just like pure serotonin, nostalgic bliss, right? This game, amazing fucking campaign. Like, oh my god, like, what do the numbers mean, Mason? You know what I mean? Like, fuck, dude, like, this campaign was so fucking good. Woods, Reznov, Ice Cube, right? Like, this shit was like... Dude, I don't know who fucking wrote this game, but, like, give this motherfucker, like, a Nobel Peace Prize or something. This shit was so good, dude. It was so good. And the fucking zombies, bro. The zombies. This this was, like, the start of zombies, right? War at War. Give us, a, you know, a little, little appetizer, right? Give us a little, you know, a little teaser of what zombies could be. And they fucking sent it into the stratosphere. Kino. The introduction of fucking, um, um, was it the introduction of, of, of like Dempsey and, 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 and fucking Rick Toffin and Nikolai and I'm forgetting the last guy. Fuck. I'm good. Sorry. This shit was so good. Nah, it was actually so good. D like Jerese, bro. Jerese alone carries this shit, bro. Like, oh my God. It was so good. Kino. Call the dead. I'm trying to remember. Dude, okay. You got to understand, right? I've played so much fucking zombies. It, it's, it's like really. And I haven't played like Black Ops 1 maps in like a really long fucking time. Either way. Multiplayer. Some of the best multiplayer I've ever fucking played. They made this shit. Like the gunplay was so fluid. Movement fluid. Um, um, like. I think they added theater mode in this shit. People were able to just like get so much like footage back then off of theater mode alone. Cross maps with the tomahawk. Um, introduction of like crazy like different game modes that we had seen at that moment. Sticks and stones, gun game, one in the chamber. You know what I mean? Like like there was um wager matches, bro. Wager matches? Like that shit's insane. You had money as currency to unlock shit. Like and you could sit in wager matches all day and just stack up your money. That shit was fucking insane. The zombie Easter eggs alone on this shit also, like, dude, like, moon Easter egg, you fucking blow up Earth, bro. Like, this... <sighs> this shit was out of this world. This is another one. Okay, I'm sorry. I know I earlier I said Black Ops 2 alone could sit in the S plus, like, fucking stratosphere and look down upon, like, all of these games. But Black Ops also, like, dude, they cooked so hard. Like, like this shit is crispy, man. Like, these are unparalleled. This almost feels like it, it was created by, like, God himself. Like, I don't know, man. Call it glaze, right? It may, like, I know you guys are saying, ultra fucking glaze. It's the uh, maximum glaze, bro. Like, I don't know. I don't care. Maximum glaze. These two played such a big part in, like, not only my childhood, but probably, like, millions of other people. And, and I think that's it, guys. I, I actually think that's it. I, here we have multiple Call of Duty games ranked by their campaign multiplayer and zombies as an entirety. I feel like I perfectly ranked every single Call of Duty here. Honestly, I really do. If I didn't, be sure to let me know down in the comments. Like, 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 if any of you motherfuckers watch this and, and y'all want to give me, like, y'all's take on this shit, 
let me know what you would change and what you wouldn't. Um, honorable mention, right? Honorable fucking mention. Modern Warfare 3 wasn't in here somehow, but if Modern Warfare 3 was in here, right, I would easily put it at an A. It's not an S. Campaign was really good. Multiplayer was also really good. The Spec Ops was probably like one of the funnest things I played. Like for me, Spec Ops was the funnest thing I played on there. But I don't know. Modern for three had like, you know, cool shit, like no Russian. I think I'd still put it in A. I'm not gonna lie. Is it like the level of these? No. It was really fucking good. And I spent so much time in that game. But I think I'd still put it at like an A. Uh, I don't know. Fuck it. Or you can keep it A. If if you're if you're looking here, Modern for three. Is an A. That kind of feels criminal too. Fuck. Whatever. Whatever. It's an A. It's an A. Honorable mention. Marvel for three is an A. That's the end of the fucking bid. See you next time. <laughs> Look at that's fucking weird. <laughs> whatever. Whatever. Let's get out of here.